going to start out in child's pose today, guys. Child's pose. Woo. Take a few exhales, maybe along the way. Let your body sink into it slowly. All right. You might have an audible exhale or sigh it out in your mouth. Wiggle around a little side to side, maybe your forehead, your hips. And just check in and see if bending your elbows with your thumbs at the back of your neck would feel good today. Tweaking the elbows a little further forward. It really is kind of a nice little tricep stretch. But if it does sound comfortable, a little too tight to begin with, just let it go, okay? Just begin to breathe deeply in and out through your nose, constricting the back of your throat. Beginning to just notice the sensation. And when you're ready, we'll take this moment to set our intention for our practice. <coughs> if you bent your elbows, we're going to release our arms forward, coming up on spider fingers, elbows off the floor. Press through those fingers, press away, reach the sit bones back, pelvic floor belly strong. Feel that stretch on the back side. And on your next inhale, let's round it on up to tabletop. Wow. Just working it out a little, setting your foundation. Give your feet a pat. A few rounds of cat and cow. Maybe even get a little freestyle today. Those of you that did all that manual labor this weekend, you can probably benefit from a little fluid movement here, allowing your body just to awaken a bit more. All right, now after your next exhale, we'll pause in neutral spine tabletop, and we'll inhale, let's right up, leg, left arm, press away, reach, and exhale, one or both, out to the side, flex the foot. Inhale, lengthen, point the toes. Exhale, draw it in. Maybe touch that knee to nose if it's available. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, out. Nice, knee to nose. One more round. After this knee to nose, we'll lengthen, bend that knee, seek the big toe side of the foot, curl the toe back. Press away, maybe look to the left and up. And breathe. Feel the stretch, the twist. Hand down. Exhale. Cross that knee behind the other. Cross knee child. Splay those feet wide. Hands a little to the right. And use an exhale. Sink it back. As always, softness or activation through spider fingers. Deep ujjayi breath here in and out through your nose. Maybe begin to feel the hips sink back a little bit, a little more space here, a little release of tension. And on our inhale, we'll round it on up. Set our foundation. Press away, engage through the core. And on an inhale, left leg, right arm. Press away and reach. Feel that stretch. Exhale, one or both, out to the side. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, knee to nose. Two more rounds, move with your breath. And after that third knee to nose, we'll inhale, lengthen, bend the knee, seek that big toe. Feel that foot press into the hand as the hand pulls. So you look to the right and up. Nice twisting. Hand down, exhale, cross the knee behind the other. Inhale, walk the hands to the left and use an exhale to go back. 
So by moving slowly with our breath through that transition, it allows our body to find a deeper edge at the beginning without rushing. As always, trying to move with our breath through every ounce of our practice. And on our inhale, we'll bring it up tabletop, curl our toes under, exhale, down dog. Working it out. Just begin to notice what might feel a little tight today here. Be gentle, nothing aggressive. Maybe even a knee and a hip drops in. Just feeling the hips or the lower back. Release a little tension. And when you're ready, a nice exhale in stillness and down dog. Maybe bend the knees a little extra at first. Inhale, slowly wave it to plank. Maybe even that chaturanga. As we exhale, take it back up to down dog. Inhale to plank. Maybe that chaturanga. Exhale, down dog. One more. This time, we're going to inhale, take it to plank. All right, belly through the spine, lengthen tailbone through heels. Feel those inner thighs working. Keep looking a little forward. Maybe shift side to side, lift one hand, rotate the wrist a little. And just try to be light here. Nice. When you're ready, have another inhale and plank, exhaling down. Inhaling up to your cobra or up dog. Nice. And exhale, down dog. All right, we're working our way all the way to the floor. So maybe it's through hands and knees or modified plank. Inhale to plank. And then slowly or even holding that chaturanga. And then down. Give the hips a little wiggle, the shoulders a little roll. We're coming into sphinx pose, so up on our elbows. Make sure fingers can touch outside. Hands come forward, fingers spread wide. On an inhale, lift the heart forward as the elbows seemingly track back. You want to feel those hip points trying to draw forward. You're reaching through the toes. Glutes are engaged. You can stay here or return here or curl the toes under and exhale into forearm plank. Breathing, press away from the earth here. Feel the biceps kind of hug. You're still lengthening tailbone through heels and you're keeping that neck long. You want to feel the back of your neck press into the sky. Shoulders drawing from ears. Shoulder blades hugging on the back. All right, you're welcome to lower down or just walk it up to down dog. Nice exhale once you get there. Ah, all right, so maybe a few Shakti kicks. All right, you can do those anytime throughout the practice today. Remember, just helping to aid in your inversion practice by doing those, okay? All right, so maybe even with the Shakti kick, when you hop forward or just walk, step, or float forward. Just having fun a little. Inhale, look forward and find space along the spine. And exhale, fold, forward fold. Inhale, reverse it on up. We're gonna go through a full sun salutation, A. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold as you step or float, going to your vinyasa. Nice exhale and down, dog. Another round of breath here. And at the bottom of this exhale, walk, step, or float. Feet between hands. Inhale, look forward and find space. Peel those shoulders, belly through the spine. And exhale, fold. Feel the depth of the wave. Inhale, reverse it up. Maybe a little back bend if it feels good. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold as you step or float, vinyasa. Nice. 
Nice exhale, let it go. All right, press away from the earth, feel the shoulders draw through to the hips. Yes, feel that telescoping as we inhale, right leg to sky. Try to feel balanced on each hand and arm. Really press away at the arms. Maybe pulse that right leg a few times. All right, and we'll exhale slowly. Knee to nose, lift the back heel high. Maybe touch knee to nose. Look forward, how control can you set it inside your hand? Flat back and we'll inhale up. Let's approach. Exhale, soften the shoulders from the ears. Maybe slide the back foot back just a little further, a little deeper edge. Breathing. All right, inhale, exhale, reach, reach, reach. Step back, going to your vinyasa. Meeting in, down dog. All right, so in a moment here, we'll be going to side plank. And it's your option. Maybe you want to do it through a three-legged dog and keep the leg lifted from the beginning. But we'll go to the left first. So on an inhale, we'll wave it to plank. Maybe bring the left hand a little further forward. Roll to the left side of the plant feet. Maybe open it up. You might reach the right arm past your ear or lift the right leg here if you haven't already. And exhale, take it back, down dog. <laughs> All right, nice. So let's inhale, left leg to sky. Pause, press away from the earth, feel the arms just really telescope, pulse that lifted leg a few times. Really feel the strength here, the activation. And on your next exhale, smoothly knee to nose, maybe touch it. Once again, how controlled can you set it inside the hand? Flat back, maybe that playful hinge. And inhale it up, press it lunge. Exhale, feel the shoulder soften. Don't miss that sweetness there. Maybe slide that back foot back a little further. Breathing, working towards maybe 90 degree at that front knee over time, maybe not. All right, inhale, reach, exhale, take your time. Stepping back, vinyasa. Nice exhale. This time it'll be side plank on the right side. Maybe you choose to inhale left leg up already or slowly wave it to plank. Right hand comes a little forward, roll to the outside edge of that right foot. Open the toes on each foot. Press the shoulders back. Maybe reach your left arm past your ear. Maybe put the left leg here. Keep the toes open. Exhale, down dog. Nice. So bottom of our next exhale, we're going to walk, step, or float. Keep the feet. <laughs> Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold. All right, nice. So bend your knees as necessary here to have spider fingers on the floor. Feel a nice stretch still in your legs. If you can straighten your legs more, feel free to. But if you feel a stretch with the knees bent a bit, do so. We're going to inhale, find a bit of flat back. Shift your weight to your left foot and how controlled can you reach your right leg back? The lunge. Nice. Draw that left hip crease back, belly down. Crystal, can you maybe mute yourself because I'm hearing that vibration there. Okay, thanks for hearing that vibration. All right, so from here, you might just stay here in a nice lunge. You can always open up your left arm, but if you want to play, Maybe hop and switch two to four times. Our left foot will be forward once we get there. Okay. And we are going to shift to forward fold, but maybe lift that back leg high. Hang out a moment here. Pulse the right leg. And we'll release it down. We'll spend more time there in a few moments. Let's inhale, reverse it up just for a nice counter pose, maybe a little back bend. And exhale, fold. 
All right, slide your fingers, look a little forward, shift your weight to the right foot. How controlled can you reach your left leg like back? No hurry, just set it. Feel that right hip crease, draw back a nice flat back to your engagement. So once again, stay, maybe open your right arm up for a twist or hop and switch two to four times. Woo, feeling it in my thigh today. All right, beautiful. So once again, we'll be shifting forward to that standing split or straight to your forward fold. Maybe pulse that left leg a few times and release it down. Ah. So from here, you can stay in a forward fold, play with just your standing split or take your hands a little further forward and maybe try some handstand hips. Since we're already kind of there, right? Just play with it, working into that, stretching into our skin split a bit today. Yeah, but taking the hands a little further forward helps with those handstand kicks. And you don't have to go far, just get a little airborne, maybe a little hang time. Doesn't have to be high. And you can even switch legs and try the other leg. I'm sure you started with your dominant, but it's a good thing for balance within the body. So even just try the other leg. All right, and when you're done, you're done, we'll find forward fold. We're going to set our feet up, your chair, however you like it, sit bones distance apart, our feet together, touching. Inhale, look forward and find space on the spine, belly strong, and exhale, fold. Belly stay strong as you fold. Inhale, reverse it up. Really reach, shift into the heels, and exhale into your chair. Feel the inner thighs hugging, pelvic core belly strong. Even if you're sit bones distance apart with those feet, can you feel those inner thighs really working? All right. Breathe into your upper back, feel the lift of the heart. All right, let's just, on an exhale, fold, forward fold here. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold as you step or float, going through your vinyasa. Nice exhale, let it go. Let's inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, bend that knee and reach our toes towards our left shoulder. Pause, press more through the right hand, feel it, maybe draw circles with the toes. Breathing, breathing. We're going to be walking our hands back, so if you need to readjust your place on your mat or in the room, do so. We're going to inhale, lengthen our leg, and exhale, walk our hands back to standing split. Grabbing any props that you need. Spider fingers are helpful, maybe drawing the chest in, maybe pulse the right leg a few times. So any variation here, maybe even your supreme balance, your left hand might come behind that calf. Maybe your right, keep lifting that right leg. Nice. Hands down, maybe not, but we're gonna exhale, cross that knee behind the other, cross the ankles. And on an exhale, walk our hands over to the right. Nice, squeeze the legs, toes are lifted a little. Inhale back to center, exhale, walk the hands over to the left. Inhale back to center. I did forget something. I want to inhale that right leg up again. And bend that knee in the air. Maybe look up and over your left shoulder. And then looking down, maybe you can reach that left hand up to the big toe. Curl the big toe back. Any variation here? Actually a nice transition this way. So left hand comes down, lengthen your right leg. We're going to walk out to play. Sneaky like a cat. If you can lift that right leg the whole time, do so. Plank. And then set that right foot outside your right hand. All right, so we're just going into a really high lunge here. You can keep the back knee off the floor or you can bring it down and track that knee to the right for a nice high lizard. Can you draw your belly button through your spine anymore? And breathe, feeling that knee tracking to the right. Your front toes are open. We're gonna hold it for a few breaths here. 
Make sure that back knee is as far back as it can go. Okay, Amelia, make sure it can slide all the way back. And on your next exhale, we're gonna take our hips back, front toes point up, tuck the chin, a few rounds here. Up, um, split preps. Marie, if you wanna squeak to your splits at any time, feel free to. You might hang forward or hang back or keep moving. All right, so we're going to get a little playful here in a moment. We're going to all work our way forward. All right, our hands are going to come to the floor as we curl our back toes under, lift the leg. We're going to press and shift into our right foot as we step our left foot outside our left hand and come into a sumo squat, okay? Feet nice and wide, all right? Nice squat. We're trying not to lean our weight into our thighs. We might touch them. But we're going to move here in just a moment. Let's maybe bring our feet a little closer, not too, too wide. All right? And on an exhale, fly our arms back. Inhale, lift your heart and arms into chair. Exhale, fly the squat again. Inhale to chair. And this time when we exhale and fly it to the squat, shift to your left foot and you lift your right leg back. Woo, yeah. Nice. And we will reach it on back to a crescent lunge. Inhaling your arms up. Exhale, take it down, going through vinyasa. Just meeting in down dog. Just trying to mix it up a little differently. Keep our bodies guessing. Keep our mind guessing. Let's exhale, let it go. And inhale, left leg to sky. And exhale, bend that knee, reach for your right shoulder, press through that left hand. Left toes are active. Inhale, lengthen the leg, and we're going to exhale, walk our hands back. Standing split, props if you need it. Maybe spider fingers first and pulse the leg. Maybe your supreme balance, right hand might come behind that calf, maybe your left. Ooh, my leg's sore. And we're going to exhale, cross that left foot behind the right, crossing our ankles. Inhale, a little bit of flat back, and exhale, walk your hands over to the left. Feel the legs kind of squeezing. Maybe the toes lift a little. Inhale, back to center, and exhale over to the right. One side might feel sweeter than the other, but it's still good. Inhale, back to center, and let's lift that left leg up. And exhale, bend the knee in the air, maybe look up and over your right shoulder. Maybe you can reach that right hand up for that big toe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, we'll release the hand down. Inhale, lengthen the leg, walk it out to plank. And then step our left foot outside our left hand. Make sure that right foot is as far back as it can go. Just hang out here just a moment. Feel the belly button draw to the spine. Really feel the plank activation here. And then we'll exhale, lower that right knee down. Track that front knee to the left, open the toes. And breathe, maybe just feel that knee go a little deeper to the side. You might feel the hips lower a little more. So we're really just feeling the hips here and focusing on the sensations. And then if you like, on your next exhale, take the hips back, slip preps. Inhale, wave it forward, be sure and look up, get some nice fluid movement through the spine. If you're working towards your splits, feel free at any time to slide into there.
feels really good today. Nice stretching of the legs. Maybe one more round. All right. The next time we come forward, we'll stay there. Curl the back toes under, lift the leg, pause, belly through the spine. And nice and controlled, step that right foot outside the right hand. But once we get there, let's go ahead and bring our feet a little closer, okay? And into a nice squat here, nice flat back. Feel that flat back working for you. Play with that hinge and then you really know. We're going to inhale and exhale, fly those arms back. Inhale, lift heart and arms to chair. Exhale into that squat. Inhale it up. And this time when we fly the arms back, shift to the right foot, maybe lift that left leg up. Feel the shoulders from the ears. And we'll take our time as we transition back to crescent lunge. Inhaling up. Exhale, reach as we take it down, vinyasa or not. Ah. So this week will be the left leg as we inhale, left leg to sky. And as slowly as you can, even a few breaths, step your right, left foot outside your left hand. Maybe tap it a few times and then set it down. Pause into the flat back. And now we'll bring our right foot outside our right hand into our Malasana squat. All right, nice. Here we go. Breathing, lengthening through the spine or rounding down. Pelvic floor belly strong. Oh, we're sitting today. <laughs> uh, remember, you can't always sit on a block or a cushion, too. I'm sitting on the floor and doing it today. Feels good. Right hip's a little cranky today, so I don't know. Maybe I'm having too much fun in pigeon lately. I don't know. But it lets me know I'm alive. <laughs> All right, so pro or crane, we're also going to play with baby crow today after this. So as always, maybe just the crow push-ups if you like, or work into both. Um, maybe, Marie, you play with that crane where you really try to lift those knees as high into your underarm as you can. So Amelia, I can't tell if maybe you bring those toes closer together. Don't have your hands too close to your feet. Remember, knees have to bend deeply so the hands stay flat and heels lifted. Shift forward, touch the knees on the back of the arms. What does it take to press up and back away? Breathe again. Do that at least three times. Yeah, and really feel everything that's working, the foundation, the core. Maybe continue to shift forward, lift one, maybe the other. So remember, baby crow's fun, but sometimes stuff just gets in the way and you can't do it. My nose is not going to be on the floor. It's going to be close, and I have to really egg it in here. I'm trying to, I've even got my knees almost in my underarms. I'm on my forearms. I shift forward and lift my toes. Really got to get into an egg to do it. It's kind of fun, though. And if it's not happening, don't worry. Just kind of fun to do. See how tight we can get balled up sometimes. When you're ready, we'll find a forward fold or just take a moment and have a sip of water. Find mine. A sip of water. I have the sunlight in the room when I started. It's too bright, so now I need to open up again. There we go. Nice, so we're gonna come standing after this. We're going to um, play with our tree pose today or your half lotus. Remember, if you do half lotus, keep those toes open. And we're going to maybe interlace behind, if that's okay with your shoulder, if not rich. Um, you know, you need a towel. But we're just gonna play with some um, focused arm movements today. And if you like, you can always step off your mat onto a harder surface if you 
like. All right, so we'll bring hands to hips. Find a focal point on the floor, shift your weight to your left foot as you lift your right knee, flex the foot, and just bend your left knee a couple of times. Feel your shoulders pressing back all the while. And then when you're ready, go ahead and find your tree on this side. All right, maybe it's in the inner thigh, maybe it's a half lotus, never the knee. Remember, press the foot to the leg and the leg back and feel the knee open and zip it up through the core, through the crown of the head. And before we do anything with the arms, can you just imagine my hand is hovering over your head and you want to press into my hand a little higher. Feel that extra little bump. So let's inhale our arms up into a nice wide tree first and really feel the expansion out through our fingers. And if it's available here, exhale, take the hands behind, interlacing. Lift from the hearts, hug those upper arms. Nice. And let go mindfully, engage the upper arms, inhale up. All right, and now you're going to take your left hand inside your right, your fingers, you're gonna cut them. Left hand inside your right, they're pulling apart. And we're going to go up with our arms and draw our left elbow down while our right fingers pull up towards the right elbow. And then we'll switch our fingers and take the left elbow up and draw the right elbow down as we try to draw the left elbow up more. My leg is firing up. All right, let's open it up and release. So just a little shoulder work. And I'm sorry, I should have shown that for my, my fingers were like this and then like this, just pulling. It's a nice tension feeling in the shoulders. It feels really good. All right, shake it off. Hope everyone's leg was starting to fire up too. Hands to hips, yay. And shift your weight to the right foot and let's bend that left knee, flex the foot, and bend your right knee a couple times. And just feel what's going on here in your balance. Remember, shoulders back, belly in. Then take a moment. Find the foot inside the thigh, feel the foot pressing, the leg pressing back too. All right, the knee opening. And when you're ready, find your branches and just calm down. And then on an exhale, maybe take the hands behind, interlace. Slip from the heart, hug the upper arms, keep the foot and the leg pressing. Nice. And we'll release those arms. Yes, is this where we found the fingers too already? I forget. Just um, when you have the, a nice pull from side to side and switch the fingers, feels really good. Oh yeah, legs burning again, good stuff. Then we'll open up arms and leg and release it down. Ooh, nice, good job, let it go. All right, so let's just do a few lunges here before we take time for some inversion. So let's get our feet nice and wide as you like. Toes pointed forward in the direction of the kneecaps. Hands can be to hips or arms wide, a little more challenging. And recognize when we get into this flat back and forward fold first, if your hips go back past the heels. Try to keep the hips in alignment with the heels. So inhale and exhale into flat back. Inhale, press the mid back to the sky. Feel a deeper peel here. And exhale, fold. Take a moment here, check in how everything's feeling. Maybe the feet want to get wider. And we'll just do a few lunges here, side to side. We can always go deeper into the Sandasana lunges, going down deep if you like. If you can fly your arms or have hands to heart, feel free to. As always, you can stay on one side longer and hang out. Keep the neck long, keep the core engaged wherever you go. Just want it to feel good. And if any of you go to your headstand from your straddle, feel free to. There's a couple of you. I haven't done this in forever myself. When you do come out of it, try to lower as mindfully as you went up. Can you slow it down and pike it? Good. 
Nice. If you did go into that, make sure you lunge it out a little. All right, we're gonna center up in our lunge. We're gonna find flat back so your hands have to come somewhat forward so the wrists are under the shoulders, okay? Let's bring your right hand center under your face, forward and exhale, left hand, sky. Press away from the earth. Can you feel your spine telescope anymore? Maybe open the toes or lift them a bit. And breathe. Nice, deep, strong twist. Really feel the strength along the spine, that engagement of the muscles. And with your next exhale, release the left hand down. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, right arm to sky. Press away from the earth, really reach to the right fingers. And can you lengthen and telescope to the spine? Once again, any more. Lifting the toes will activate the legs a little more. We really feel a lot going on and we're not really doing anything extra deep. We're just engaging here. And we'll exhale, release it down, forward fold. Maybe walk your hands back a little. You might choose to lunge it out a little or hug yourself in. Reach your arms through the legs, anything that feels good, even a massage on the legs. If you got super wide in your lunge, you might shorten it just a little bit. We're gonna bend our knees and slowly round it up. Yes, give your shoulders a roll. And we'll contemplate, I'm gonna watch you all what you might wanna do for your inversions. We've done a lot of activation today that would work towards um, your handstand or your forearm stand with the pulsing of the legs and the helping to lift. But as always, anything, um, headstand. Before you go anywhere though, pause. You'll set your foundation, pause. Feel your breath, feel the activation. Maybe lift one leg and pause. And really feel each part of it. Don't just get there, fight for it, and then start breathing. So really try to own every step along the way, All right? Nice, Amelia. Really feel those forearms pressing, Amelia, yet hugging. Yeah, walk those toes in as far as you can. Nice leg there, Maria. There you go. Keep it strong, Amelia. Keep that leg long, strong. Use that second leg too, Amelia. Keep it strong. That's it. Look at it. Yes. And you're pressing through that foundation. Nice control there, Crystal, yep. If you have something behind you, Amelia, and you just wanna pop up, go ahead, but I always tap into trying to feel those strong legs working for you, and then it'll come over time, okay? There you go, I see it strong. Really reach with that lifted leg. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Beautiful, that was so close, so close. That was really good. Nice, nice job. Okay guys, beautiful. We'll go into some nice stretching here today. All right, I wanna spend more time stretching than we usually do, okay? So let's um, take a moment. And um, let's just find a transition first. Release our shoulders and our back a little. Grab the shins, draw the knees wide. Flex the feet, go side to side. All right. And I can't stand it. I have to do a plow here. So if y'all wanna join me in a plow, that would be a good thing right now. Or just shoulder stand. Lift out the back of the legs, lengthen through the heels. Maybe you release the hands flat to the floor, but those arms are really working. And on an exhale, tiptoe your toes to one side, not too far. Inhale and back to center, exhale, tiptoe them to the other. Feel the chest drawing away from the chin, your feet are back centered again. And we're going to try to keep our legs as close as we can to our face as we slowly roll down one vertebra and stop. One vertebra and stop. You'll come to a point where you just have to finish rolling out of it. 
but try to fight for it. Try to keep the legs as close as you can to the face. And then when you're down, you're down. We're gonna roll on up and come to our fish pose. Remember, we'll be sitting on our thumbs, all right? And as we sit on our thumbs, our hands are flat. Work those elbows close together already. Hug your legs, point the toes to that fan them out. Inhale, lift from the heart, and exhale, come down to the elbows. Work them close together. Inhale, lift from the heart again. Exhale, let the head go back. So your head might go to the floor. It might not. It's okay. But feel your heart lift up and out of the spine. Nice. When you are ready to come out of it, lift from the heart and come up centered. Okay. So we're going to do um, half hero, maybe full today. All right. So, Rich, I can't remember if sometimes you might sit on a blanket for this as we bend our knee back and our ankle is flat back. So if you're leaning to one side, chances are you need to sit on a blanket to give you some height. And if for anybody that bothers your ankle, you can always put a little towel up under the ankle. Sometimes that can help alleviate some pressure. If at any time bending the leg back doesn't feel good, you can always bring the foot forward, all right? We're gonna do both legs individually and then do both legs maybe, okay? So let's bend our right leg back. I'll skip back now. All right, take a moment. If you're leaning to the left, take a moment to sit on a blanket. Lift the left, the outside of the thigh with the left hand as you roll the calf away and nestle your right sit bone in. All right, feel a little more centered. You're gonna press that right foot into the earth. Slide your fingers a little forward into the side. Inhale, exhale a few mini waterfalls. When you're ready, just exhale, take it in. Maybe you stay up high, maybe that's your edge. Maybe you need to keep the hands, or maybe you feel secure enough to reach for something and massage or stretch the toes towards you. And breathe. All right, we'll inhale slowly, round it up. Take our hands behind, lift from the heart, and exhale, let the head go back. You might stay here, you might be able to come to your elbows. We'll just stay there for this one right now, onto our elbows, because we'll have the opportunity to lay back with both our legs, maybe. Inhale, lift from the heart, and exhale, let the head go back. If you need to lay all the way down, do so, though. Do so. All right. All right, we're gonna inhale, lift from the heart and come up. We'll roll to the left and unwind that right leg, give it some TLC, and then we'll roll to the right and then the left leg back. Roll the calf away as you lift the thigh, peel them apart, nestle the left sit bone in, begin to feel the left toes press into the floor. And when you're ready, a few waterfalls. Just feel the body, let go of some tension with this nice fluid movement. Really allowing it to be fluid, strengthening along the spine. And by the third one, maybe a nice exhale in. Remember in the evenings or any time during the day, if you have a chance to sit in your hero or half hero, do so. Even if it's just um, for, you know, a minute, that's gonna maybe help you find a little more space. But Mind the joints first. On an inhale, we'll slowly lift it on up. Hands come behind, lift from the heart. Exhale, let the head go back. Inhale, lift the heart again. Maybe exhale, come to the elbows and let the head go back as the heart lifts. Once again, if you just need to lay down here, feel free to. If it just calls you, do so. But a great back bend here, lift from the heart. Great for our sinuses. You're up on the elbows or on the hands. All right, we'll lift from the heart as we come on up. 
right, and we'll just unwind that left knee for a moment, give it some love. And now we'll maybe try to work into both legs, okay? So you might come up on your knees a bit and then sit back between the heels. It's a little harder to roll side to side in here, okay? Let's see how you're doing. So given that, maybe you still want to sit on the blanket, get a little more lift for the hips. Red, I'm not sure how that's working for you, I can't see. And still get that nice stretch for the quads, all right? Still want to keep those feet active and pressing. All right, hands come behind, fingers forward or a little to the side. Inhale, lift from the heart. Exhale, let the head go back. Maybe come to the elbows. Inhale, lift from the heart again. Exhale, the head goes back. Maybe you lay all the way down. If you do lay all the way down, maybe you reach your arms past your ears and touch opposite elbow. You can always stay up seated or on the elbows and just if that's the stretch you're getting, allow it to be, and breathe. You kind of want to feel those inner thighs hugging. The knees are telescoping forward from the hips. You might rock side to side when you come up, but inhale, lift from the heart when you come up. Keep it out of the neck, out of the spine. Yes. And maybe lean forward, lift the hips, and then roll to one side to come out. Yes. Be mindful. Nice. All right, let's find a counter pose to that. Work into our sit bones. If you're not sitting straight up and the lower back is rounded, sit on the blanket. We'll inhale. And exhale, just wave it forward a few times, a few mini waterfalls. Yes, and reach as you like. Massaging is always good, or even backing off with the hands might help you find a little more space in your spine. So it isn't just about the legs here, it's about the back too. So if you're really feeling grounded, back off with the hands, even have them out to the side of the hips and press, yes. Or you can do spider fingers out to the side. A little more dynamic here too. Or spider fingers behind, helping you press forward. All right, we'll slowly come on up. And we'll bend that right knee as we take our left leg. It can be forward or more to the side. It's wherever your hips are happy. We'll align our heart to that left leg. Inhale and exhale. Maybe once again, a few rounding breaths. We worked really hard earlier, I thought, so a nice just workout. So it's nice to be able to spend a little extra time stretching. So if you're interested in a nice revolve here, your left hand, palm up, lays on the floor in front of the left foot. Then you lift it and just rotate it in to grab the big toe mound. Then we'll inhale our right arm up and exhale, take it up and over your ear. Maybe you touch the foot, maybe you don't. But inhale, lift from the heart. Try to rotate it to the side. Try to press through that right thigh. Maybe even feel the left hip crease draw back a little bit, a little more space there. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, maybe square your heart forward over that leg. And we'll inhale, slowly round it on up. And begin to switch with our exhale, maybe a little TLC along the way. Line to that right leg, inhale, and maybe a few little mini waterfalls again. So that's a nice leg work today. When you're ready, follow that exhale in. You can hang out here massaging a right hand inside the right foot, lift it, and then curl it for that big toe side of the foot. Back up a little. And then we'll inhale that left arm up, and exhale, take it up and over. So by doing your palm that way on the right hand allows the chest on the right side to open up a little more. And breathe. Maybe once again, pull the right hip crease back, press more through the left thigh, find an edge for you that feels good and interesting. 
We'll inhale, lift up, and exhale, square our heart over the leg into a fold. Maybe it feels a little sweeter now. And we'll inhale, come up again. And exhale, both legs forward again, just to counter pose. Inhale, one breath here. Exhale, wave it forward. Drag your fingers as you inhale, round it on up. Lifting from the heart. And we're going to go on to our back. You might roll it down through a zombie roll, or you might just go on in and hug it in already. Depends on how your back's feeling. And give yourself a little transition here. All right. Be sure to look opposite the knees. Nice. So bring your fingertips behind the knees, a little leg roll, rock and roll. We're gonna come up in the boat. Look from the heart, lengthen those legs. Let's shift so I can see. Nice. Maybe play with your edge of both. Maybe you open up into the new or you lift or lift the feet higher. Maybe you try to reach side to side and hold a twist. Just open it side to side and hold it a breath or two. That messes with our balance a little extra. Holding it there. Okay. And then we're going to go back onto our back again, transition it out. We'll find happy baby in a moment. But from here, maybe our camel pose today. If you really crave your back bend, your wheel, feel free to go there. But it's kind of good to just mix it up. Um, on your camel pose, you can curl your toes under. All right. Knees are hip width apart and straight down. I like to use the heel of my hand to the upper hip. We never want to crank the lower back forward. And we want to work our elbows closer together. On an inhale, we'll begin to lift from our heart. Press the hips forward. Exhale, let the head go back. Breathe. If you want to reach for your heels, feel free to. You might reach one arm up and exhale, take it down and around to the heel or back to the hip. It's up to you. When you do come out of this pose, you want to lift from the heart and find yourself in the child's pose. Big toes touching, maybe those knees are closer, knees wide. Play with it and see which one feels best on your back and hips today. Once again, it can be active up on spider fingers. That's a nice active stretch. I always find that interesting. Or maybe you just want to hang out and be soft. And when you're ready, we'll slowly round it on up and work our way to our back. Maybe just transition it one more time, side to side with those knees, before you find happy baby. Remember, set the happy baby, find the pose before you begin the movement. Give the pose the integrity it deserves as well. Feel the tailbone roll away, tuck the chin a little, feel how much activation is in this pose. A few breaths. And then recognize if you want to soften or play a little bit through movement. Recognize that your eyes are real busy right now, getting distracted by what's around you. Or can you just go inside and tune in? Maybe it would feel good today to bring the fingers to the toes and draw the toes down. If you've been doing a lot of work and your legs are sore, that be an extra little stretch for you. Or you can straighten a leg or two. Straddle, you know, the, you know the rules, they're fun, you just have fun. Beautiful guys. So go ahead and draw your knees together, feet off the floor. Take your arms wide. Now your knees can stay bent or legs long to the sky. Have a nice inhale and exhale. Slowly take the, your legs over to the right. Take them over, maybe reach more to the left, and then let everything just surrender. Recognize now if you really kind of would prefer to bend the knees, all right? 
Maybe you take your right hand and place it on that top thigh or reach for the foot for an extra stretch through the back of the leg. And breathe. Feeling the stretch and the twist. Feeling the softening of the shoulders to the earth. And after a few breaths, maybe you feel the twist in different places than when you originally began. Remember, if tension's building or something's cranky, just bend the knees a little extra. Yes, yeah, stack them on top of each other. That's helpful. All right. Maybe arms wide again. Knees can stay bent. Even feet on the floor if you like as we inhale, bring them back up. Then place the feet on the floor and lift your hips. Recenter them, feeling good. And then maybe feet off the floor, knees bent, legs long. Exhale, slowly take the knees over to the left. Feel the transition. Allow them to just melt for a minute and notice where you might feel a pull, where you want to either back off or deepen here with the legs long. Maybe um, left hand goes on to that top thigh. Just the weight of the hand brings such an awareness. A little bit of compression or maybe reach for that foot. Noticing the body. When you're ready, bring it all back to center. Be sure and place your feet on the floor, lift your hips. Recenter and recognize any kind of movement that would feel good, any pose. Okay, and once you're ready to lengthen out for Shavasana, check in with your lower back first or anything that really talks to you. And do you need to place something under your knees? Do you need to um, alleviate pressure on your lower back? You can always do those legs up the wall or bend the knees onto a couch. Feet nice and wide, point those toes in towards one another, let them flop out to the side. Fun jello jiggle wiggle on the thighs. And then when you're ready, bring your awareness to the mouth and allow those lips to part. And let the tension just melt away like waves on the ocean. How deeply can you feel it get into the sinuses, the whole nasal cavity? into the eye sockets all the way through the ears. Maybe you even feel it go to the base of the neck. A little deeper release there, the base of the skull. Seemingly even your teeth and your gums seem to melt. Whether it's your limbs or your torso, recognize where you might be holding on to tension, even fingertips. And use your awareness to soften as much as you can through the entire body, allowing that oxygenated blood free flow through the body, unhindered. You can remain still with this or slowly begin to just deepen your breathing, 
observing here. Maybe intuitive movement. No hurry, just observe and linger as long as you like, bit by bit. Even if it's gradually into a long body stretch. Either bringing your awareness to your heart center or your hands. Can you watch the inhale, the expansion, nice and deep? How long is the exhale? All the way through, enjoy the pause. Not forcing the breath, but just allowing the edge of it to happen. Finding gratitude is always that our body's breathing and we're util able to utilize the capacity of our lungs. Namaste.